Hello, this is Nechama from Arc Intelligence, and in this video I'm going to give you an overview of the new topography editing tools in the Environment for Revit plugin. Environment for Revit is constantly improving, as we aspire to give you the best modeling experience and help you achieve the most accurate results. In this new version, we present to you the revolutionary approach to topography design, combining all the existing tools and some new ones into one dialog. Since this is still a beta version, our existing tools will remain as you know them, while the new topography toolset will be available at the site panel in the environment ribbon. And it will also be available once you select the topo surface next to the regular edit surface tools in the modify ribbon. Let's check them out. In the topography editing toolset, you can find some new tools along with the familiar ones. As long as the command is open, you can easily switch between the different tools while designing your surface. As used with Revit, you can use this dialog to select elevation points, move or copy them, change their elevation, or delete them. A built-in undo and redo buttons are always available within the topo editing mode. Click Escape to return to the main menu. Revit's Place Point option is available through this new toolset, so you can manually add points as you go. Save time with our new selection tools. Easily select points along a surface boundary. Or, you can select a group of points with the Draw Selection Region feature. Use the Get Connected Points to select a sequence of connected elevation points within a surface. To give you more design flexibility, we added the option to select points and align them to any surface in your model. Your favorite environment tools are also here. The improved Add Line tool lets you select model lines and add them to a surface. The Smart Points option will help you keep maximum accuracy with minimum points. Or you can use the Custom Settings option to control the amount of points added along the line. Also here is the Surface from Edge tool. This allows you to select any edges in your model and add elevation points along this edge. You can also define an offset from the selected edges. Click Insert Point to add the new elevation points to your surface. With the new Peak Face tool, you can turn any surface face, like a floor, a roof, or another topography, into a new surface or to make it a part of an existing surface. Use the slider to control the number of points added along the selected face. The Insert Midpoint tool allows you to quickly fix common Revit topography issues, making your surface more accurate and giving you more control over the shape of the surface. One of the most important parts of accurate site modeling is slopes. Our new and exciting slope path tool allows you to pick any points on your surface, define a direction, and set the desired slope percentage. Or you can set the target elevation and get the resulting slope along this line. So you can easily plan the slopes in your model. Click Insert Points and Finish to exit the command. Designing topographies in Revit has never been easier with the new and ultimate topography editing tools of Environment for Revit.